so this is florida check it out i am mike jones i'm out and about in the jacksonville florida area bringing you all the best listings this one is on julington creek there's a nice surprise between here and the end of this driveway i'm going to get to that in a minute but this house sitting on julington julington creek is great if you're looking for riverfront property you're going to want to take a look at this the house is about four bedrooms four baths about 2800 square feet and it's nice enough but i'm going to run you through here it's empty so i'm just going to hit the highlights and we'll definitely get you out there and look at that water come on in let's look around We got a couple bedrooms off to the right. Like I said, this house is empty, so I'm not gonna show you empty bedrooms. I'm just gonna show you the highlights. But look, first off, when you, what do you see here? These are really, really gorgeous views of this river from here. There's a family room over there. I'm in the dining room. Spin you around, take a look at this kitchen. Pretty nice, huh? Granite countertops, plenty of cabinetry, lots of storage. You got your stainless sink. Uh, I'm, that's that black stainless refrigerator, black stainless appliances. I just wanna show you that view. I wanna capitalize on that view because that is what you're paying for here. And if you're the type of person that likes riverfront living, that is it, that's the goal. So real quick, four bedrooms, four baths. Um, the owner's suite's over here. It's empty. I'm not going to show you that. Nothing special. You got upstairs, you got a full bedroom, bath, and everything. And what I like about these stairs is they're a low plane. People with bad knees like me are going to appreciate that. Let's get out here to this water, because that, I know, is what you're looking for. So let's go out here onto this enclosed Florida room. Huge. You know why? Because that's where you'll spend most of your time if you own this property. And of course, these are all closed up now, but they all open so you can get those wonderful afternoon, morning and evening breezes. Look at the size of this thing. And look at that river out there. That's Chillington Creek. Get out here, it goes to the St. Johns River. And uh, you can get just about everywhere by boat in Jacksonville if you have the uh, time to do it. There's actually a marina right down the street, so if you need anything marina related, it's right there, very convenient. Here we go, we're walking out to the dock, because if you have a boat, that's gonna be important. The dock is in really good shape. This cypress tree, wow. That's Florida. Look at that, you got your little kayak launch right there. You can sit out here and fish all you want. Look at the size of this dock and this deck. Covered boat lift. And here you have Julington Creek. I don't know why it's named a creek because it's definitely not a creek. This is a full-fledged river. There's all your neighbors. That's the Julington Creek Bridge. Down there is the Julington Creek Marina. And here's your boat lift. I'm not sure what the capacity is, but if you're interested, we can find out. Of course, you got electric and all that stuff. And let's just kind of look at the back of the house. Amazing. So I told you there was a surprise heading out towards the, uh, about the middle of the property here. So let's go ahead and get to that. So now I am moving away from the main house and the river down there, Julington Creek's that way, this long, beautiful driveway. Halfway between the main house and the street, which has actually got a gate up there, it's really cool, you'll have all this extra room for parking, RV parking, covered boat parking. I don't know, you can park anything you want in there, I guess. If you had a horse, you could put him in there. I would, I would recommend throwing some hay, but, they got a tractor here to maintain the property. As we move on up, there is another garage. Great big two car garage. And best of all, there is a guest cabin, as you can see right there. And that's where we're headed right now.
So this cabin has a lot of different uses. You can use it for a teen suite, an in-law suite, a guest suite, or you could even do an Airbnb. This is just a one bedroom, one bath cottage, so to speak, with its own little kitchen, plenty of cabinets, bathrooms right here on the left, and there's the bedroom. So you can do a lot of things here, kind of really up to you. I think I would probably turn it into a little Airbnb. If you have ideas of what you would do with this little cottage at the front of this property, let me know in the comment section below. I would appreciate it. It's always fun to know what other people are thinking. So if it is a riverfront lifestyle you are seeking, get with me. I would love to show you this house. Cindy and I, we do this so we can help you. And uh, we would love to show you this property or any other properties in the Jacksonville area. By the way, if this listing is still available and you want to know more details, pricing and stuff like that, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Feel free to go there and then just give us a call. I'm Mike Jones, Jacksonville's Voice of Real Estate. Thank you for watching.